guys, Olivia here, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Today is Monday, November 4th, 2019. It is about 11.30 in my neck of the woods and it's been over two weeks since my last update. I'm a little late. Um, I normally uh, record my videos on Friday and then they upload on Saturday, but uh, life got a little busy. I did record a video on Halloween, but I deleted it because if I had to grade it between an a to an F, I would give it a solid D plus. And so I just went ahead and deleted it and figured I'm gonna start over fresh Monday morning. That way I can tell you about Fall Fling, which uh, happened over the weekend. It is It was a retreat that was hosted by Acorns and Threads and it was a blast and I had a great time. And I figured it would be better to record this video on Monday while it's still fresh in my mind. Um, but it was an amazing time. I also had time to switch out the seasons. You'll notice that all the Halloween stuff is gone and I have my turkey up there. Uh, this video will have the, what I will loosely call the autumn home tour because uh, Thanksgiving and Easter both seem to be two holidays. I mean, I love all the holidays, but those two seem to be the ones that I struggle the most to make things for and decorate for because and I think it's because all of the Thanksgiving autumn decorations come out in August and I'm not really in the mood for for it then but I'm in the mood for it now and of course you can't find it anywhere because every place you go has their Christmas decorations out and every year I tell myself I am going to shop early and get some things and I don't because there will be like a small little selection of Thanksgiving autumn and then this huge selection of Halloween and of course I naturally look at the Halloween and I don't look at the Thanksgiving so um, but I I will do that home tour as promised um, it won't be as long as the Halloween and it sure as heck not gonna be as long as the Christmas one when that one happens later on no it'll be the first part of December so anyway I am um, Excited to show you everyone loved the Halloween home tour. So this one's gonna be a little bit shorter This video probably will be longer um, Because I'll be talking about fall fling and I'll be doing the autumn home tour. Um, I will save Because um, no, when I did the, the home tour last time I did the home tour and then I showed the quilts um, However, I will wait and show the quilts in my next video because they will still be out the one that I'm, the video I'm not so sure about is the one that will come out the weekend after Thanksgiving. I might be doing that one in my dungeon because the house will be ripped apart and it'll be partially decorated and it'll be a mess because it usually takes me two days to decorate the house because somebody likes Christmas trees and I have to decorate them all. So it takes forever, but I love it. Anyway, so um, let's jump into fall fling. Uh, so Fall Fling was the first retreat that I have ever been to. I've never even been to a quilting retreat, so I had no idea what to expect. Of course I was nervous because I knew there was going to be a lot of people who follow me and who I follow on Instagram who were going to be there. There was going to be um, floss tubers that I love to watch. I knew they were going to be there, and so of course I was completely nervous. My partner in crime, Deborah, who is Canopied Stitches on Instagram, could not make it. Um, she had something come up and uh, she just wasn't able to make it out and so um, I'm hoping that I will get to see her at some point. I know um, she told me that they were thinking of taking some smaller trips and I am planning on, because I'm a crappy friend and I didn't call her back last week, I need to call her and uh, you know tell her about my experience and then let her know that there is a retreat at the end of September so maybe she'll be able to come to that. Um, but she wasn't able to be there, so I went uh, by myself, and uh, I had, uh, you know, I I had no idea what what to expect, and so um, I arrived, and the first thing you have to find a chair, you have to find a place to sit, a table to sit at, and a lot of the tables were already full except for this one table. There was only one person sitting at, so I walked over and I asked her if the I could sit there and she said yes and that was Christy and it's uh, Christy with a K she does have a floss tube channel and all of the floss tubers that I met I will make sure to link them all down below um, so I did get to sit with her she was working on a hate and it was absolutely beautiful 
I forget what the name of it was, but it was it um, was Nights, and it was done with um, black and gray. Absolutely stunning. It was the first time I had ever seen a Haid up close and stitched a one over one, and it's it's beautiful, so beautiful. She's an amazing stitcher, and she was a fun table mate. Uh, and then a few minutes after I arrived, uh, Melanie Smith, uh, who is Melanie Smith Yarns and Fred, Threads, came and uh, sat with me, as well as Megan, the Frozen Crafter. They both have floss tube channels. Um, Megan is from Alaska, and so it was a lot of fun. I think everybody who sat at my table was from a different state. Uh, so the first day, there was just four of us at the table. Um, the two other seats, um, the stitchers couldn't make it, so it was just the four of us, you know, getting to know each other and chatting, and it was it was a lot of fun. Definitely have made some new friends, and we've, of course, all agreed. Uh, except for Melanie, she she couldn't be there on Sunday, but um, the the two of us, as well as the ones that joined us on the second day, have all agreed to sit together. And so the second day, um, Heidi, which I did not catch her last name, but she is the sweetest person I have ever met in my entire life. She is just, she is absolutely lovely. She came and sat uh, with us because the table that she was at, um, a lot of them couldn't make it the second day, and so her table was completely gone, and so she came and sat with us. And I got to meet Anna, who is, who does the, no, I shouldn't say she does the, she also has a floss tube channel, and that's Stitch Roadies, and she is a hoot. She is so funny, so lovely. Um, it was a pleasure to get to meet her, and so it was just, it was so much fun. And then um, some of the other people that I met, and if I forget your name and I met you, I completely apologize. So uh, of course I got to catch up with Audrey, who is Stitchy Witch 42. Love Audrey. She is a wonderful, beautiful person. I just, I, she is so much fun. I could hang out with her every day. She's just, she's wonderful. Um, and then I, I got to meet Lisa, who is the Kindred Stitcher. She is wonderful. She. I was starstruck. She probably thought I was a weirdo, but I was completely starstruck because she, I love everything that she stitches. She is just such a wonderful person. And so I finally got to meet her. And so, you know, of course you're a little googly eyed, um, but she is wonderful. And I also got to meet Lori, who is tech stylist and she is so cute. I just love her. And so I'm so happy that I got to meet both of them. And then I got to meet Mel, who is Stitcher Mel, and I've been a fan of Mel's ever since. I, well, I guess we kind of found each other at the same time. She also does floss tube, and then we follow each other on Instagram, and she is so sweet. I just love Mel. Um, and then her really good friend, Tracy, came down from Washington, and Tracy has bought a bunch of my project bags, and so she brought them all, and they were all, they all had kits in it, so it was fun seeing my bags in the wild, and so I got to meet Tracy. And then I got to meet um, Jennifer and Renee, who are Gazelle's Needlework. Um, they have a floss tube channel, and they were lovely. They both, I, so they were sitting at the table behind me and so I could hear them talking and they both have southern accents and it took me back to when I was a kid and my grandpa's sisters would come out to visit and just listening to them talk and they just have beautiful voices and I loved getting to meet them both and they were both so sweet um, and then I also got to meet Java Girl, a uh, Christy. I almost missed out on my opportunity to meet her because um, one of the things it gets so overwhelming when you're at a retreat and there's so many people to meet and talk to and I almost missed my opportunity to meet her because she was leaving the next day and so right towards the end of the retreat um, I finally had the opportunity to go over and meet and chat with her and she's so sweet she's absolutely the sweetest person and so I'm glad that I didn't miss out on my opportunity because I would have felt crappy if I found, you know, like later on if I had missed out that they were leaving and then the next day coming and, you know, wanting to meet her and then she's not there, I would have felt horrible. So I'm glad that I got to meet Christy. I also got to meet Robin, who is Lady Robin S. here on Floss Tube, And she is beautiful and she was the one who um, 
because uh, there was an option of making an ornament, a Christmas ornament, and taking it and doing an exchange. And so she got my ornament, and I will make sure to put a picture. As soon as I get done chatting about the retreat, I will put the picture of all of the ladies that I managed to get a picture of because I was doing way more chatting than I was taking pictures. And then I will make sure to insert a picture of the ornament that I um, did in the exchange as well as the one that I won and stole from Audrey. And that's actually hanging right on my tree right there. It was a pumpkin. So of course um, I had to steal it and I had to bring it home with me. So I'm glad that I, I was able to steal that from Audrey. And then very, very briefly, I got to meet Stephanie of Stitch Goes My Heart. They um, got all the floss tubers together and took a picture of all of us. And that's when I got to meet her for the first time. Um, she goes up and does um, the Thursday meetups at Acorns and Threads. So hopefully I'll be able to make one of those soon. I would really like to be able to go up there. Um, and so I'm hoping that when I go up there, her and I will be able to like sit down and chat and all the things. And then I also got to meet Anna. Um, she is fantastic. She's such a lovely little lady. I just absolutely loved her. And she invited me down to visit her at her home in California. So you never know. I might just knock on her door one of these days. And I know that there is like so many other people that I met and that I have forgotten about. And I feel terrible if I have forgotten your name. I try to like go over the day as it happened and like write down the names as I met them. But you know, it just was not possible. So um, if I left anybody out, I'm really sorry, but I had an absolute blast and I cannot wait to go back at the end of September. I'm so excited that I was able to sign up to go. And again, I can't really talk about it even though I really, really want to, but I figure I better wait until I see if it's okay because I know that it is not open to the public yet and it won't be for a few weeks. But I'm so excited and that all, just about everybody is going to go back. So I am excited that I'm going to get to see everybody again. And hopefully this time I can spend even more time, you know, chatting and having fun with everybody. And again, my table mates and I, we all decided next year we're going to sit together. So I'm really excited to see them all again. Melanie, I hope you'll be able to go too, even though I can't talk about it. <laughs> So anyway, I'll talk about it more when I see like the official announcement. So anyway, so a couple of things that um, happened while we were at the treat. retreat was, um, of course, they had um, goodie bags. And so when we got there, there was a goodie bag sitting in each one of our spots. And um, I know I took a picture, so I will insert a picture of what like what is to be made with what was in the goodie bag right here. So in our bags, our gift bags that were sitting on the table, you got uh, the chart to make Michelle Bendy Stitchy's um, Santa, it's called Trim in the Trees. And so it came with the thread it is DMC thread to stitch it. It came with a piece of 36 count, picture this plus, and I want to call it Nocturne. That's kind of how it's spelled, but I could be wrong. I thought maybe it was Nocturnal, but I think it's Nocturne, um, as well as the chart, which I'm just going to flash it, and the board to finish it on. So it's going to be so cute when it's finished. It was so generous of Acorns and Threads to kit that all up and for Michelle Bendy Stitchy to make the chart for all of us and I can't wait to stitch it. It'll be the first time I have stitched one of her charts. They did have them because um, they had like a little like pop-up shop and so they did have some of her charts but I was so good and I even though I wanted to buy all the things I didn't but I got to look at all the things and it was wonderful. Um, they also uh, gave us this cute little lunchbox that says I was a cross stitcher before cross stitching was cool and yesterday I saw a lady had already made it up into her stitching box and it was really cute and I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to do something like that. Um, I also So inside that were these little, and I want to call them snippets but that is not what they're called. Um, 
but it's something similar, like similar sounding. Um, I think a local lady makes them and Acorns and Threads sells them for her, I think. I could be completely wrong. Um, it's got a little uh, magnet in here for your needle. And then I think what you're supposed to do is put your um, threads that you're, like your orts, and then you can take them home and put them in your um, ort containers or like me, I throw them away. Um, the back has this on it. So I'm excited to uh, put one of these in my project bag when I have to go, you know, somewhere to stitch and then I'll be able to, you know, put my threads on there instead of wadding them up and shoving them in my pocket like I normally do when I go out and I'm stitching in the wild. Um, also, it came with some M&Ms because they have a bowl of M&Ms in the shop and an acorns and thread sticker and the chart to stitch. I was a cross stitcher before cross stitching was cool. And then there was also a candy cane inside the box, but when I got home and I was showing what I got, Allison um, confiscated the candy cane. Um, and then uh, in the pop-up shop, I did purchase two things. I got my first set of marking pins and a couple of people told me that um, they were going to be my new favorite tool and it's very washed out but it's by My Big Toe Designs and I also bought a mini scissor fob also by My Big Toe Designs and it's got a little skeleton down at the bottom, my first scissor fob. Um, but that's all I, that's all I purchased. It was so hard because there was a couple of um, uh, they had fabric there from Lakeside, and it was really hard not to, you know, buy some of it, but I'm like, nope, stay strong, Olivia, stay strong. And they had a lot of other great stuff that I would have loved to have come home with. But I was like, nope, nope, no. Stitch what you have, Olivia, and then go buy all the things. So that's my plan. So also during the retreat, um, some of the attendees, they brought um, Stitchy Kindness. And so from Melanie... Melanie Smith Yarns and Threads, she brought everybody a needle minder. It's got this cute little um, mosaic button, wooden button, and she had made these the night before because she found out a few days before, or not long before the retreat, that she was going to be able to come, and so she made these the night before and gave one to everybody. And then from the ladies of Gazelle's Needlework, they um, passed out these little bags, and inside the bag were the uh, little key and I for are they floss tags I feel like that's the right word um, they all had little uh, different ones and so mine had a plaid pumpkin I just love it and so I'm gonna find something to attach this to so I see it all the time because it just makes me so happy and then uh, it also had this little scroll charm and so I'm gonna definitely find something um, Autumn to attach it to that way I can always remember Fall Fling and uh, Jennifer and Renee for passing these out to everybody it's just so fun thank you ladies and then from uh, Robin Lady, Lady Robin S she passed out these um, so this is a floss away bag I've never had a floss away bag before and then I think the official name for these are thread keepers for like your um, thread cones but um, uh, I use them and then I've seen other stitchers will use them to attach their linen to the Q snaps and so um, yeah I have a bunch of these and I love them they come they come in such handy and then a little lifesaver a band-aid because we're always poking ourselves and it came attached to this ring and um, I forget what this I think you attach these two together and then I think you're supposed to write your project information on. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what I've seen these used as. So that was so generous of all of them to have some stitchy kindness for everybody. Let me see. Okay, so I think, I think that is everything that happened at Fall Fling. I know, I don't know, I've, I've redone this part of the video a couple of times, so I hope I'm not leaving anything out. So I think now I will insert pictures that I took as well as there's like a little video uh, because there was a brag table. And so I, yesterday I quickly went through and videoed the brag table. And so I will insert the pictures that I took 
as well as some of the ones that I confiscated from um, Instagram because I did not have a picture. Um, and I will put them here. Yesterday, they did a make and take project. And so, because Fall Fling was, um, it was snowman, like Christmas snowman themed, uh, we all got to, we got the a little kit to make uh, these little felt snowmen. And they were so adorable. Um, I forgot to put my buttons down the front of them, and so my snowman is naked. And I was going to, before my video, quickly attach the buttons, and I didn't, and I forgot until right now when I realized I forgot to show the ornament. So the ornament was created by Jo Lynn, and she also does all of the fabulous finishes that you see pop up all over Instagram. And uh, she is such a fantastic teacher. She taught a bunch of us how to do cording because none of us, I mean, none of us knew. And so she had the tools there and she um, did the cording for the hangers. And when she found out there were so many of us that didn't know how to do cording, she did a little mini pop-up tutorial for all of us and it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad that I was able to learn how to do it because I don't, I don't feel like there's any place on because I know that I've looked 
to see how to make the cording and I don't think that there is a tutorial out there other than just pictures. And so it was cool that she took us under her wing and uh, taught us how to do that. And so now I have to get one of those little Krynet corders because I feel like I need to cord everything now. It's so, it's so awesome and it's so easy. She's just, she's a fantastic teacher. So that is it for fall fling. I think, like I said, there was just so much that went on and so many people that I met and it was just such a wonderful time and I cannot wait to go next year. It's gonna be so much fun, so much fun and I can't wait to talk more about it but I feel like I better wait because, yeah, I feel like I better wait. I'll wait until I see that they've officially announced it and then I'll talk about it. So, not that I know all the details but only like who's gonna be there? Like, I'm so excited who the teachers are going to be, especially one of them. I'm like super, super excited. But I will wait until I see that all that information has been released and then I will talk about it constantly for the next year, 11 months, 10 months. So I'm just excited, so excited. Anyway, so yeah, that is the end, I think, of all of the fall fling information. And if I forget anything, I will mention in my next video. Yes, it was a great time. Such a great time. I'm so glad that I went. Okay, back to regular, regularly scheduled floss tube stuff. Uh, let's talk about some progress. So um, as a lot of you know, I do a stitch rotation. In the last two weeks, the stitch rotation kind of went in the toilet because I was trying to finish my ornament for the fall fling exchange. And um, also, I was trying my hardest to finish Skeleton Crew by the Cricut Collection. I was able to finish my ornament, but I was not able to finish Skeleton Crew. I tried. It was a valiant effort. I really tried because once I finished my ornament, I think there was like five days before Halloween and so I just worked exclusively on it and I just could not, I just couldn't make it. I'm so close though. So here is the Skeleton Crew by the Cricut Collection. I'm stitching it on a piece of 32 count, picture this plus, Heritage, with all of the called for DMC, except for I had, I added some Krynic blending filaments and I will put all of that information down below in the description box. But here's my progress. So I'm super close. Uh, some of the skeletons uh, towards the back of the ship need faces, or they need their mouths. Um, and then I need to finish the water. The boat comes down a little bit more towards um, the sea serpent. And then there's two fish at the bottom. So not like a whole lot, but I still got a little ways to go. So I'm hoping that I will get that finished maybe this week, I hope, because I will be returning to my regular scheduled rotation. So Sally Spencer will come back into my weekend stitching. I haven't stitched on her at all in the past two weeks, but my progress. So I hope, I hope I have um, a finish to show you guys in my next video. Uh, and then, um, so this one is not in my official rotation. I usually work on this in the morning uh, for like a half an hour. Uh, I only managed to work on it for two days. And I think the last time I showed it to you, I had the whole upper row finished. And I might have started down here. Uh, but then I've only worked on it in the past two weeks. I've only worked on it two days. And just for a half an hour a piece. And this is... Words of Enlightenment by Tempting Tangles. It is a sal, and the sal is, um, anybody can still join. Uh, she releases um, the pieces of it every other Friday in the Facebook group, and you have to purchase the pattern, or the chart, in order to participate in the sal. There are 16 parts, and I think, um, number eight just can't, either eight or nine just released. I can't remember which one it was and I forgot to look before I uploaded my, or before I started my video. Um, this is being stitched with all DMC threads. However, the called for, I think are dinky dies. So I'm just working at that one at my leisure, leisure, 
le leisure. Uh, and I think right here it says chopped wood. So it'll be interesting to see how chopped wood works into words of enlightenment. Had to pause the video there because um, my vocal cords are pretty thrashed. I've talked probably more than I talk in a year, in two days, and so I had to have a nice little fit of coughing. Um, anyway, so the last little bit of progress that I worked on the past two weeks was Thanksgiving Comes Again by the Prairie Schooler. I started this at the Fall Fling Retreat. That way I'd have a nice little memory attached to it. And here is my progress. I didn't bother taking it out of the cue snap. Um, I'm stitching it on a piece of what started out as 28 count. And I, once I tea coffee dyed it, then baked it, it shrunk down to a 30 count. I'm stitching with all the called for DMC, and I'm hoping to get this one finished before Thanksgiving. But I got quite a ways to go, so I don't know. And I thought I was gonna be a little bit farther along, you know, cause you got two days of full stitching, but I spent a lot of time ripping this part out. I think I ripped it out twice. And then when I left the retreat, I had this done, I had the stem and the leaf done, and I had like half of the pumpkin done. So last night when I came home, um, I finished the bottom of the pumpkin and started the words. So the original chart has like a bowl of um, fruit, and I swapped it out for the pumpkin, and there's like a little um, corn down here, and I am going to uh, make that into the, the Indian corn. And so that's the only two changes that I'm going to make. So hoping to have some more progress on that to show you guys in my next video. But that's it for my stitching rotation. Um, and so now I will talk about my finishes because I did have two finishes. So the first finish I had, hang on a second, was um, the Prairie Schooler, Santas and Snowmen. I stitched this little guy up here for my um, exchange piece for the fall fling, and I will insert a picture of that right here. So I thought the ornament turned out pretty good, and I'm just glad it held together, and I hope it will hold together forever because it was the first time, number one, it was the first time I ever tried to attempt that bow. And I, I happened to be watching a DIYer and she did it using her two fingers. And so you took the ribbon and you like double wound it through your fingers and then you pulled it through and pulled it tight and that's what made the double bow. So um, I will, well, I would say I would link that DIY down. You know what, I'll link that if you like the bow, I will link the video. You'll have to watch a little ways into it because um, it's one of those ones where she goes to Dollar Tree and buys all the Christmas stuff and then comes home and takes all of this, all of these different pieces and like puts stuff together and makes these big displays and it's on the, the Christmas tree. And I don't remember if the Christmas tree was right at the beginning of the video or if you had to watch a little ways into it. Um, once you got the hang of doing the bow, it's pretty easy. The only problem I had is like one side I felt like was a little bit more fluffier than the other side, but in the end it turned out really, really good. And then I, it was also the first time I had put, so I, I mounted it onto two, so I laced the work, I laced my, the stitching, and then um, I took and I mounted both the fabric and the stitching onto mat board attach those two together and then I took jute and I went around you know to give it like that finished look and I think it turned out really really good if I had woke up in the morning and the thing had fallen apart of course I wouldn't participate in the ornament exchange but um, it looked pretty good I'm gonna I'm going to make some more of those and I'm gonna finish them that same way that'll give me a chance to work on the bows a little bit um, but um, it went home with a robin uh, Lady Robin S. And I don't know if she has an Instagram channel or Instagram. That's the same name. Um, but if it, I'll put all of the links to everybody that I've mentioned down below. <laughs> um, but I think it turned out really good. 
and um, she really loved it and so I'm excited that it's gonna go live forever in Washington and I hope that for many many years it hangs on her tree all in one piece I hope it survives <laughs> that's my biggest fear is that she's gonna get a home and the whole thing's just gonna fall apart um, anyway so uh, anyway let's move on to the other finish that I had so that was Jardin Privé's Halloween and here is my finish so I posted it on um, Instagram and my Facebook page. I fully finished it right before Halloween. This was the board that I did the grunging tutorial on and so my board was very grungy because it was going to be a Halloween finish. Um, I just took some of the fall foliage that I have in my stash and I just attached it. I think it turned out really really good. I love it. I'm kind of sad that I have to put it away now, but I'll enjoy it next year when it comes out again. So it came, it came together exactly how I envisioned it, and I'm glad. But that was all my finishing uh, for this past, past two weeks. It's been um, a little bit hectic, and of course I've been working on Skeleton Crew, so hopefully in my next video I'll have uh, maybe another finish to show you. Fingers crossed! So that brings us to the giveaway portion of the video. So in my last video, the giveaway was for this um, project bag made by me. And the question was, I think, what is your favorite a stitching notion? And a lot of you guys were like me and you couldn't decide between scissors and needle minders. There was also floss tube was a stitching notion, um, project bags, um, seam rippers. Seam rippers are probably like number two. And there was like a whole host of other um, great stitching notions. And so thank you to everybody who entered. And the winner is Leona. So Leona, congratulations. Contact me via email, pumpkinhollowquilting at gmail.com and uh, send me your address and I will get your new project bag out into mail to you next week. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you to everybody else who played as well. I also have a giveaway for this video as well. Um, I have two. So the first giveaway is Glitter Village. Uh, so this was, so I'm passing the stash and you get all nine charts of Glitter Village to stitch for your very own. Um, and I thought if I did it at the beginning of November, by the time the winner got it, you might be able to stitch one of the villages or one of the houses. Um, I had a lot of fun stitching this. I still haven't picked out a frame for mine yet, but I need to get on that because I only have a little bit less than a month before I start decorating for Christmas. So I would like to get mine finished and when I do, it's gonna hang right there. Um, so this is number one. And number two is Plum Street Samplers Hello Winter. I also stitched this one earlier this year, and so I'm passing the stash on this one as well. So if you are interested in winning this one, um, it is number two. So number one, Glitter Village, and number two, Hello Winter. And I apologize if the glare is preventing you from seeing the chart of Glitter Village, the sun keeps popping in and out of clouds and I think it's burning off the fog and so it's starting to get brighter and brighter and brighter in here. Anyway, number one, Glitter Village, number two is Hello Winter. Um, and the question that you need to answer is, when is your birthday? Uh, you don't have to give me a year, just month and date. Uh, mine is November 12th, it is coming up in the next two weeks, which is why I was curious, like when is your guys' birthdays as well? That's all you need to tell me down below is when your birthday is. And then if you would like to win either one or two or both. Um, and then I will draw a winner in my next video. I will draw two winners in my next video. And then that way, by the time you guys get them, you might be able to start them in time for Christmas. I don't know about Glitter Village, but you could get a head start on it if you wanted to. Um, so if you're interested, answer in the comment section down below what is your birthday and whether you want to win number one or number two. And um, yeah, I'll pick two winners and I'll announce it in my next video. So, oh, also, you must be a subscriber, like the video, and do all of the things. Uh, we know the spiel uh, by now. So, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I'll pick two winners in my next video. So, 
Um, you know what? I just realized I forgot to show some stitchy kindness. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show my stitchy kindness. And then we're gonna do the autumn home tour and then I will release you for the day. So um, this past week, I guess it was at the end of last week, I was contacted by Dora, who follows my Facebook page, and she asked if I would be interested in this cute um, Santa wreath. So this, um, if you watch Priscilla and Chelsea, this was the wreath that Priscilla used to finish her chock full, the Santas. The one that just released a couple of weeks back, she had this. Um, it's the one that's mounted on the book stand. Um, I have the book stand. The only one I've done for it so far has been Harvest. And um, so she asked if I would like one. She had an extra one. And I was like, yes, please, because uh, when I looked at Hobby Lobby, they did not have them. I don't think that we get a lot of the same things as like the East Coast does because they'll show some really cool stuff and when I go look, even at the beginning of, of like a, a new season, I don't think we get a lot of the same things and so I was so happy that she wanted to pass this along to me. And then to accompany it, she completely spoiled me rotten. I mean absolutely rotten. So there was this... Um, this little um, linen bag that came with it. So cute, and inside the linen bag was all this DMC thread, and there was even one um, Gloriana silk, which I had never, um, I mean, I had seen it up at Acorns and Threads, but I had never, you know, touched it, and it's so soft. And I, I wanna find something that's little to where I can um, use it, because everyone says such great things about using using silk and so I'm, I'm anxious to try it. But yeah, she sent me all this DMC thread. So awesome. And these scissors, these little ginger scissors. So just absolutely so generous, but it doesn't stop there. It was this, it was a huge box and I just, I was just, it was so sweet of her. Um, she also included this little thread keeper. I've never owned a thread keeper, but now I feel like I need to collect them because it's just so cute. And I need it for all the things now. Um, and then, and then um, she sent me a whole bunch of patterns, or charts. So this is Plum Street, John and Abigail. Uh, Summertide Blessings by Plum Street. Uh, for Spacious Skies by um, Heartstring Samplery. And uh, Land of Liberty by Brenda Gervais. Um, Mary Noel. This one. Also by Heartstring Samplery. O is for Old Glory. And uh, Madame Cottontail by Brenda Gervais. In Full Glory by Plum Street. Nope, not Plum Street. Blackbird. But I love this one. I'm so excited. Um, also from Blackbird Designs, uh, Serving Bird Pocket. Is that what it says? Sewing. Honestly, my brain. And from the Prairie Schooler. What is this one called? I do not know what this one is called, but it is this cute little uh, Fourth of July um, from Heart and Hand, Autumn Whirly Gig, Land That I Love, Summer Whirly Gig, uh, Hands on Design, Stars in the Sky. Also from Heart String Samplery, Handprint on My Heart. And then you're gonna hear just a little bit of, of um, crinkle. So she sent me from, it's out of a magazine. Uh, it looks like cross stitch and needlework. It's Land of the Free by Blackbird Designs. I love this one, <laughs> so excited. And uh, from Plum Street Samplers, a friendship sampler. And by Plum Street Samplers, Beatty's Garden. So awesome, but it doesn't stop there. 
she sent me, let me just take it out of the bag, um, this whole stack of linen. I'm so excited. And I've like went through it a couple of times, just, you know, touching it and looking at it in the light and so generous, Dora. So thank you so, so much. You completely spoiled me. And it's so sweet of you to send all of those to me. I just, I, I love it. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you. Um, okay, guys. So this is going to be the end of my regular video. Um, so I am going to go do the autumn home tour right now. Um, so if you're not interested, you can move along to the next Floss Tube video. Um, otherwise, if you are, just hang on a second and I will go out and start recording. Um, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, autumn to show. Again, it's something that I really need to try to work out a little bit better. Um, so just hold on one second. So here is the seasonal tree that hangs out behind me in my videos. So it's all dressed up now for uh, Thanksgiving and autumn. And I'm just going to go in slowly, slowly. The camera might jiggle a little bit. So this ornament right here is the one that I stole from Audrey. It was made, and I cannot think of her name. I wrote it down, and so I will put it down below, or I will put it across the screen. Um, and she made it when we, we had to take our ornaments back up and, you know, put that we had won it and then leave a spot for the person who stitched it to come over and put their name. And she was standing right next to me and she asked me if I liked it. And of course I did. And she told me she made it and I did get a picture of her. Uh, so I will, that should have already been in the, oh, the pictures that I put in of the fall fling. Um, this little ornament here, I made it a few years back. It was a freebie. Just a little teeny tiny pumpkin. It was supposed to be a um, scissor fob, but I decided to use it as an ornament. Um, this was the ornament that Sherry DeYoung stitched for me and sent my way uh, about a month or two ago. And I love it. And now the camera's going to jiggle a little bit more. And so this little guy here is also a freebie that I did and if I can remember what his name is I will link it down below so yeah that is my one of my fall trees and also the lamp continues to be decorated and I will switch it out in December and put evergreen and um, poinsettias so now we are out in my living room and this particular quilt, I don't remember what the name of it was, but I bought the kit over at the beach in Newport. There used to be a quilting shop that was over there and I'm not sure if it's still there. It was the first time I had ever um, worked with fusible applique. And also I think it was the first time I'd really worked with batik. So my um, little, I guess, entryway to my living room is decorated, like there's not, I don't have a lot of um, Thanksgiving decorations. Uh, this rooster here, I bought it at Michael's. He was on clearance. He is missing, like you can see that he's missing some things and I need to go um, fix him up a little bit. But he was on clearance. I think I only paid maybe like five bucks for him. Normally, I think he was like 30. And then this turkey here was my mother-in-law's. And I've had it since she's passed away. And every year, I bring it out and think of her. And we'll just pan down really quick. There is cinnamon stars. And my truck is still decorated for autumn. Let's go over here. Here is my other tree that is decorated for the season and hello fall and I showed this uh, a couple videos ago either on my last video or the video before oh let me just pan back over here this ornament right here was one of the first ones that I made after I came back to cross stitching and I think something heavy kind of sat on it in the box because it's a little bit 
wonky. So maybe um, after the season's over, I will pop it out and redo it. And this little guy here, I think he's called Tom Turkey and he was, the pattern was done by Lori Holt. And I feel like it was a freebie. I, I, it's been quite a few years, but if it's not, I'll find the book that it's in. And I will link it down below because it was really easy to um, stitch up. And then over here, which I, I need to fix that bow. Uh, this, I, um, so the pumpkin I found at Kohl's on clearance for a few dollars. And then um, the stitching is called Bok Bok. And I can't remember who it's by, but it is a freebie as well. And I will link it down below because he was a lot of fun to stitch up. And then let's go to the TV. So it's just decorated. I still have my Halloween table runner under the TV. Um, but it's just decorated for, it's got the Thanksgiving village, which fun fact came from the Dollar Tree about 17 years ago. And my little pumpkin warmer. And then I will pan you over to the quilts. So these are the the autumn quilt. It's pretty sad. I have some that need to be quilted and I haven't done it yet. And I will show these in my next video. This is just another shelf in my living room. I think I showed it last time when I did the Halloween home tour. Um, that is um, Give Thanks by the Primitive Hair. It was a freebie and I will link it down below as well as some of the pieces from the um, Thanksgiving Village. And then over here is my Crooked Quilt. So I wasn't gonna <laughs> originally show this. Um, this is a Lori Holt pattern. I think it's just called Farm Girl. And I, and I think in the pattern, I can't remember what it said. I think it says Farm Girl down the side. And I changed mine to say autumn and I did, I think all of like the blocks over here came out of the farm. Oh, I can't remember the name of the book. I will put the link down below, but they all, this right here, except for maybe that, I think that was a separate PDF. Oh, and that one didn't come. That one was from someone else, like the patchwork posse or something like that. And I will try to link them all down below. But I know that the bird was a separate chart that you could buy, a separate PDF that you could download from the Fat Quarter Shop, as well as the pattern to make the farm girl. I chose to make mine autumn-y with leftover pieces that I had from all sorts of projects. Um, and the quilt is actually crooked. You can't really tell. I mean, it looks pretty straight in the video, but in real life, it's crooked. It's actually longer on this side than this side and only by like a quarter inch. But when I had finished putting her all together, I didn't square her up like I was supposed to and I just went ahead and finished her and quilted her and it wasn't until after I had her hanging on the wall that I realized that she's longer on one side than the other. But you can get this pattern from the Fat Quarter Shop. I'm pretty positive it's a PDF and then that came out of the same book that the pumpkin did. But I can't, for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the book. It's like at the top of my head. It's like farm something. And I made a whole quilt from it too. Anyway, I'll put all the information down below. So yeah, she's cute. I like her. So here's another pumpkin that I did out of the same Lori Holt book. I think it's just, I think in the book it's called Patchwork Pumpkin. Uh, and then I just went ahead and originally this hung on the cabinet in my kitchen, but I took all that down when I hung up my ABCs. So the board where the ABCs hangs, this used to hang in its spot. And so now I just have it kind of hanging out of a drawer. Um, Moon over a blackbird. I think I had this up during the Halloween home tour. 
and then my three tier tray, which is just mainly decorated with pumpkins. And then this turkey right here, my grandma gave me, and I guess she painted it at like a ceramic, ceramic class years ago. So I don't know if I have ever shown this one. It's been hanging up through Halloween, and now it will continue to hang up until after Thanksgiving. So this is a Crabapple Hill pattern, or chart, no pattern. Um, I stitched it maybe about five years ago. Um, I stitched it with all DMC thread. It does have some specialty stitches in it. And then I think where you see the, um, those are hot fix crystals. Those were supposed to be um, French knots and I decided to put the crystals there. It was a lot of fun to stitch up. And then the um, turkey behind me. Uh, I, I want to say this is like a calendar quilt and off the top of my head, I cannot remember. I always forget and I cannot remember who the quilt designer is. And I know that a bunch of you guys have told me and it just, it always slips my mind. Um, I did this, oh, this particular one a while ago. Uh, my grandma also did them with me. And so she has, um, it's twin that hangs up in her living room. Okay guys, that is, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the home tour. I know it was kind of short and sweet. I'm working on adding more decorations to it. I need to be more proactive about that. Um, but if you've stuck along this far into the video, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures also at the end of the home tour of places in the house that I wasn't able to show because the lighting, it's really like bright outside and the tree has lost a lot of its leaves so it's even brighter than normal. Um, but I appreciate you guys, you know, hanging out for a little while to see the home tour. The quilts I will show in my next video. Because um, I did get a question about the one that's at the very top. I got a lot of questions about that one. And so I do, I was able to track down the pattern and, sh and I'll be able to share that in my next video. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. You can always um, see what I'm up to. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. I also have a Facebook page, Pumpkin Hollow Quilting. I do have a blog that I'm horrible at posting in and I'm hoping to get a little bit better and that's Pumpkin Hollow Quilting at blogspot.com. Um, right now I'm all sold out of project bags but I do plan on adding more. I have a bunch that are sitting right here that are cut and ready to go and one of them that should have been done last week and it didn't. Um, so anyway, um, I will be adding those to the shop in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. Um, just keep your eyes peeled if you are you know, waiting, um, they will be going in. And I apologize that there's been kind of a slowdown the last couple of weeks have just been off the charts busy. Um, I will be back in two weeks. At my regular scheduled time so I guess it's gonna be a little bit less than two weeks um, but I will be back to my regular scheduled Saturday morning um, the next time so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing if you're new and you just found me I hope you'll hit the subscribe button like the video and all the things um, I appreciate you guys don't forget to enter the giveaway and I will see you guys in a little less than two weeks so bye bye Oh, 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 oh,